Alrighty, so I've made some progress with my tower generator. I have simplified a bit how the prefab parts are, are made, so I can just have one wall and I just use code to position it all around here instead of I had kind of different prefabs for different side walls, which seemed a silly, effortful way to, to set up my prefabs. I've got these crenellated Merlin things uh, positioning properly and I've added these stairs so you can go up and down the levels through the stairs which also have some torches going uh, just roughly put that stuff in ah, now so one problem I've got is this where I can position a stair underneath another stair so they block each other off so this is one of the things every time I do something I realize there's a lot more to do um, one thing I need to do is keep track of uh, as I'm building a tower keep better track of some sort of data structure which defines which rooms are in which grid space in the tower and things like if I put stairs down then check on the room above whether there's stairs there and then don't put stairs there put them in a different place or rotate them around um, similarly at the moment I'm building an island and then texturing it putting grass down putting trees down and then I'm building towers and flattening the ground so I need to build towers earlier in the process before I vegetate uh, and put objects down and I need to have another sort of data structure where I record probably on the zero to one x y sort of terrain space record where things are like buildings and say this area is taken by a building so don't when i'm vegetating don't put vegetation here when i'm putting the you know the trees and the grass or rocks or whatever down don't put anything in this space it's reserved for a building um, and then once all the buildings are put down and i've flattened things then do the terrain um, texturing and put grass down but not there and put trees down not there so i need to do things like that sort of have more persistent little records little data structures that record buildings and terrains and so that things get placed down with more context now let's have a bit of a look here at another random mission so we'll go to the pause menu forfeit this mission do another random mission okay so on this one it's got let's jump in there we go we've got is it three islands three islands and we've got a few little towers here let's jump in and have a quick look yeah so this one's got all the trees bursting through that were there before we put the tower down so there's a tower there's another one over here Let's have a little look inside. Maybe we'll go down from the top. So there's two stairways down from the top. Here's another stairway over here. So they're placed a little randomly at the moment, the stairways. They could be anywhere. I probably should um, uh, prefer to put them in the corners, for example, uh, and just have a bit of a better think of, sort of define a bit of a more clear recipe for how things get placed. Now, uh, I think I'm on the bottom floor here, so we still need to put in a door. Probably do that next. Place in door segments. Let's, let's make another terrain. Let's forfeit. Make a new random mission. Okay. We've got two islands. Oh, there's a big one on top there, or a little tower, but up very high. There's one here. I've also randomized the sort of volume of each tower, so they were before being generated all to the same total number of rooms, but now I've made it to sort of average between one floor and six floors high. Let's have a look at this big tall one. Actually, these ones are all coming out about one floor just because of the random number generation, I guess. Let's have a look at another one. Forfeit. Random. Here we go. There's some bigger ones. 
So you can see here how they can also be interrupted by other sort of random buildings that I was already placing uh, with another placement system. So that's obviously no good. Um, here's another one here. Actually nestled between these buildings quite well, except for that tree sticking through the middle of it. Um, there's one there. There's a few over here. So I'll probably get rid of the placement of these other random sort of buildings, and I'll probably build all buildings with modular kit pieces, which I need to uh, yeah, make look nicer and everything. Uh, but that's on the cards for something to do next as well. Make some nicer kits. Now I could place like ruins. Here's the flag here as well. I could place ruins, which could just be a single story set of like ruin pieces and different themes. Let's create another island. Forfeit. Oh, we've plonked down in the uh, in the middle of the island this time. Let's sail on out. See if the boat can make it out without dunking itself. Nope. Anyway, that's okay. Uh, we'll just fly around. So this is one island with a couple of buildings. Oh, not two islands. So yeah, I've just got a very small set of pieces uh, to make these castles with at the moment because I'm just trying to get the system working. I think the scale of the pieces needs to also be bigger. At the moment they're 8 by 3, but I think they need to be maybe 10 by 4. So the player feels a bit small inside. But yeah, it's coming along. Lots to do.